Systems Engineering offers several models of the timer box for for one power circuit with 2300 watts model with four sockets plus heating for two power circuit with 4600 watts model with eight sockets plus heating for three power circuit with 6900 watts and one one power circuit with three phase connectors with 11000 watts model with 12 sockets plus heating connect your lamps to the blue sockets and your heating to the yellow socket if you use a dimmable electronic ballast with 0 to 10 volts or pwm signal or an led light connect the cable through the empty cable gland and wire it to the terminal block in the inside of the timer box for connect gnd ground and signal 0 to 10 volts and pwm Connect each power cord to a household plug, with its own circuit containing a safety breaker of 13 amperes, or 16 amperes. At first start, the timer is initializing. How does the timer box 4 works? The timer box 4 is a switch timer for several contacts. The timer box 4 is operated with an encoder, a so-called rotary push potentiometer. On the main screen you see, day counter, your program duration, current time, and measured temperature. The timer is displayed around the outside of the watch. Each segment represents 15 minutes, 4 segments are 1 hour, and the full cycle is 24 hours. The work impulse, which comes from the programmed time, is displayed with filled segments. The segment for the current time is blinking. To enter the settings menu, push once on the encoder. You arrive at the return function. Push the encoder to go back to the main screen, or turn right to go to the day counter setting. When you push the encoder the value starts flashing. Now turn right to increase, or turn left to decrease the value, form 1 to 99 days. Every day at 0 o'clock the day night cycle will count plus 1 day. Set the desired number of days, and push the encoder to save this setting and return to the selection of settings. Turn right to go to the current time setting, and push the encoder to set. The hours of the watch start flashing. Turn right to increase or turn left to decrease the hours, from 0 to 23. When you push the encoder, the hours save, and the minutes start flashing. Set the minutes the same way from 0 to 59. Push the encoder to save the minutes and return to the settings menu. For example we set the clock to 2230. Turn right to go to the start time setting, and push the encoder to select. The sun symbol shines constantly indicating, on, time. Enter the start on time for the lights, the same way as you have set the current time. For example, we set this to 8 o'clock. After you select the hours and minutes, push the encoder to save. 48 full segments will appear, starting from 8 o'clock. Now you can choose the duration of your program. Turn right to go to the 12 hours cycle, which is set by default, when you change the start on time. Turn right to go to the 18 hours cycle. When you choose 18 hours cycle, push the encoder, and 72 full segments will appear, starting from the start on time you have entered before. Turn right to go to the user off time, and push the encoder to select. The hours of the watch start flashing, and the moon symbol shines constantly indicating, off, time. We set the hours and minutes of the user off time to 20 o'clock, and push the encoder to save. The full segments will appear, starting from 8 o'clock, which is the start on time you have entered before and ending at 20 o'clock. Turn right to go to the stop temperature, and push the encoder to select. The temperature digits start flashing, and the stop text is shining indicating, stop by temperature. For example we set this to 30 degrees Celsius. Push the encoder to save, turn right to go to start temperature, and push the encoder to select. The next temperature digits start flashing, and the start text is shining indicating, start by temperature. We set this to 27 degrees Celsius, and push the encoder to save. 
the start temperature cannot be greater than minus 1 degree of the stop temperature. Turn right to go to the manually on off function and push the encoder to change the state. If the timer was off, activating this function will manually turn the timer on for the remainder of the cycle. At the next cycle the timer will be set back to automatic. If the timer was on, activating this function will manually turn the timer off for the remainder of the cycle. To check if the timer is set to manual, go to the main screen and check if the manually on off icon is visible. To turn the timer back to automatic, enter the settings menu and set a cycle. 12 hours, 18 hours, or use a cycle. For example, we set the user off time to 20 o'clock and push the encoder to save. The full segments will appear, starting from 8 o'clock, which is the start on time you have entered before, and ending at 20 o'clock. Turn right to go to the manually permanent on, off, function, and push the encoder to set. The sun symbol starts flashing indicating, permanent on. Push the encoder to change the state, and return to the settings menu. All segments will become full, and the contacts will remain, on, forever. Push the encoder and turn right. The moon symbol starts flashing indicating, permanent off. Push the encoder to change the state, and return to the settings menu. All segments will become empty, and the contacts will remain, off, forever. To check if the timer is set to manual, go to the main screen, and check if the permanent on, off, icon is visible. To turn the timer back to automatic, enter the settings menu, and set a cycle. 12 hours, 18 hours, or use a cycle. For example, we select 12 hours cycle, and push the encoder to set. 48 full segments will appear, starting from 8 o'clock, which is the start on time you have entered before. Unplug the power cable from the electrical outlet. Wait a few seconds. Push and hold the encoder button, and then connect the power cable again. Keep holding the button for more than 3 seconds. Now you can set the parameter P1. Backlight. Push the encoder to set, turn left or right to change the value, on, off, or automatic, and push the encoder to save. Turn right for P2, brightness, and push the encoder. Set your backlight brightness from 20 maximum, to 0 off, and push the encoder to save. Turn right for P3, time format, and push the encoder to set. Change the hour format to, 12 hour format, or 24 hour format, and push the encoder to save. Turn right for P4, and push the encoder to set. Here you can change the temperature scale. Select Celsius, or Fahrenheit, and push the encoder to save. Turn right for P5, calibration, and push the encoder to set. Here you can adjust the temperature sensor up, or down, according to the room temperature. One step corresponds to 0.1 degree Celsius. Turn left or right to change the value, and push the encoder to save. Turn right for P6, lamps cool down time, and push the encoder. Enter here your time the lamp should never turn on, since the last stop, and push the encoder to save. Turn right for P7, output signal, and push the encoder. Choose between PWM pulse width modulation signal, or 0 to 10 volt, and push the encoder to save. Turn right for the P8, max signal, and push the encoder. Here you can set the maximal output signal, in percents. Keep in mind, this value cannot be lower than the minimum signal on P9. Push the encoder to save. Turn right for P9, minimum signal, and push the encoder. Here you can set the minimal output signal depending on the lamp, in percents. Keep in mind, this value cannot be greater than the maximum signal on P8. Push the encoder to save. When the temperature rises, and exceeds 27 degrees start temperature, the variable signal starts to dim, from the maximum dimming percent of P8, until it reaches the stop temperature. 30 degrees, which corresponds to the minimum dimming percent set on P9. 
Meanwhile the sockets stop at 30 degrees, and restart again at 27 degrees, after the cool down time of P6 has elapsed. Turn right for P10, sunrise, and push the encoder. Set the time duration of the sunrise. The sunrise starts when the time switch is on, and starts the lamp according to the P9 minimum signal, and rises during the entered time, up to the P8 maximum signal. Push the encoder to save. Turn right for P11 sunset, and push the encoder. Set the time of your sunset, this time will start before the off time of the timer, and dim from the P8 maximum signal, down to the P9 minimal signal. Turn right for P12, factory settings, push the encoder, and turn to yes. Push again to confirm, or select and push no, to return without resetting. Turn right to go to P13, end, and push the encoder to confirm. The timer box initializes with the new settings.